sweet sticky pork braised in Asian spices. Ah, oh, this is one ultra comforting dish. This is my Taiwanese braised pork. All right, so there's just something about sticky soy braised pork that melts the heart of every Asian I know anyway. Um, uh, and I'm usually making a Thai version, but today I'm making a Taiwanese version, uh, which I'm super excited about. Uh, let's get going on the pork first of all. So just a little chit chat about the pork. I'm using pork belly and what you want are some really nice cute little cubes of pork belly. We want really small little bites here and skin on is fine as well. So when you're buying pork belly, I think just make sure you're not getting a piece that's too fatty. I mean, we like that, but not, you know, we need some meat in there as well. Anyway, let's get into the pan with a little bit of oil first of all. So now we're just going to seal off the pork, so add that into the pan. So we're just going to give that pork a few minutes in here just to start to get some colour on it. And in the meantime, I'm going to grind up some Szechuan peppercorns. So these guys add such a great, like, not only flavour, but also kind of like a tingling, numbing sensation as well. Uh, if you haven't tried out Szechuan peppercorns, I highly recommend ordering some. Just get them online, get them sent to you, you know, really easy. I always have them in my pantry. There's something a little special. Um, so I'm just going to grind these up. Oh, wow. So already I'm getting that beautiful sort of high citrusy note. That's the kind of aroma and fragrance that you get from Sichuan peppercorns. Um, look, if you can't get a hold of these, just throw in some black peppercorns. Totally fine, but yeah, try and find them if you can. And just a rough kind of crushing here is all we need and we get that straight into our pork. Now, I'm also gonna add in some garlic and some finely chopped shallots. Now just let the garlic and the shallots kind of soften up a little in there. And now let's go in with some more aromatics here. I've got some star anise, some cinnamon and some bay leaves and a few slices of fresh ginger. These are all like classic Asian comfort food fragrances and aromas and spices and oh, all of these things just bring me so much joy. I hope they make you happy too. All right, so now to build our braising liquid, we want some soy sauce. And you want some sweet dark soy sauce as well. So I'm using ketchup manis today, which is an Indonesian version. But you know, just a regular Chinese dark soy sauce is fine as well. Um, just this thicker, sweeter version adds a little bit more sweetness. And some Chinese cooking wine as well. So Shaoxing wine adds a really beautiful fragrance and aroma to dishes like this. But obviously, if you want to keep your dish alcohol free, leave it out. Just add like a little bit of apple juice um, or pineapple juice for a bit more interest and sweetness. And now some brown sugar as well. Just mix that through. Now top that up with a little bit of water and then bring this up to a gentle simmer and let it cook away for about an hour until that pork is broken down. It's really sticky and tender and yummy. So about 20 minutes before that pork is done, I'm going to pour some hot water on some dried shiitake mushrooms just to rehydrate them. They just need about 20 minutes. All right, these mushrooms are looking nice and tender. I'm just going to cut them in half and then just want to cut that stem out because it always stays really kind of tough and chewy. All right, now our pork is smelling so amazing. Oh, I just love that comforting, like, you know, cinnamon, star anise smell. Oh, so good. All right, now pop those mushrooms in there. And now I've just got some hard boiled eggs. They're eight minute eggs, and I'm gonna pop those in there as well. And now just gently kind of get those eggs coated. And I wanna give this another like 10 minutes or so, just till I've got some nice color on those eggs. All right guys, we're looking so good here. Check that pork out, sticky, glossy, amazing. Braised pork like this never fails to make me happy. Uh, okay, so we want a nice spoonful of this onto some rice or a few spoonfuls. And then grab an egg, slice that in half. Now, egg goes on. 
And then I've just got some lightly blanched bok choy here, a little bit of greenery goes well here. There you go guys, sticky, sweet braised pork. Oh, I am going to enjoy this one. Mm. That pork just melts, completely melts. Mm. Amazing. And that beautiful star anise flavour and the sweet soy and just that hint of the Szechuan peppercorns in the background there. Oh, the whole thing. So good. Mm. Ultimate comfort food. Mm. I just need a doona, couch, me, this bowl, heaven.